Hello everyone. Myself Sabri and I welcome you to our channel Solution Bridge Network and one stop solution for all your power platform tutorials. Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to see how we can dynamically load more than 2000 entries from a SharePoint list to a Canvas app. I have already created a simple Canvas app which has a gallery and a text input. So my gallery is connected to a list called employee data in my SharePoint and I have a search field which searches the name column available in my SharePoint list. So let me take you to the SharePoint site and if you see the employee data contains 2500 list items and if you open the employee data you will be able to see the list of columns what I have configured. So if you see I have a serial number column, email ID, country and a name column. To achieve this dynamic loading we should need a number column which has a unique value. So I have created a serial number column and if you just go to the settings of this column you will be able to find the type of the column is a number and if you expand this you will be able to see this column always requires an information and I have already enforced the unique values. So let me save it. Now you might have a question where we have the similar column which is ID and this is also a column which is mandated for all the items and even we will not have a duplicate value. One thing to be noted here is the ID column will be delegable only with the equal to operator and it may not be useful in this scenario. If you want to understand delegation with SharePoint in detail, I request you to click the link which is available on the top left corner of your screen where we have a separate video for the same. So let me take you to the Power Apps. So now we need to calculate the number of iterations that the loop should go through based on the number of entries. So to achieve that, let's break down the inputs for the loop. Let me add a text label where we will just find the minimum and the maximum serial number available in our list. So I have a text in. I'm calling it as first serial number and I'll use the function first. First of employee data then it's serial number. So now you can see the first serial number is 1. Now let me copy paste this text label and find the last serial number available in our SharePoint list. So let me change it as last and come here. We will use a simple trick here where we will be sorting this employee data with respect to serial number in the descending order and then we will take the first number which is obviously our last serial number available in our list. So we'll use sort by columns open bracket the list name now it's time that we need to put a comma and tell the name of the column which we want to sort so you can look for the column serial number so you're not finding a column called serial number here there are some other column called field 0 field 2 field 3 which you may not be available which that column is so let us go to the SharePoint site again go to the settings list settings and if you click that specific column, you will get that column name here, which is given by the SharePoint list. So this is field zero. So what we will do, we will say field zero. And now, as I said earlier, we need to sort this with the setting order. Descending order. And we need to close down one more bracket. Great, there you go. You can see that the last serial number available in our SharePoint list is 2500. Let's go there, go to the list. Let's check if our value computed is right. So here what we will do, we'll just click this drop down and say largest to smaller. That comes. So 2500 is the largest number what we have in our list. So now we need to check how much iteration that our loop should run through to get this value. So again, we will copy paste this. So here we will calculate number of iteration the loop should go through. So number of iterations. So number of iterations is nothing but the latest number divided by 
2000. So 2000 is nothing but the maximum limit what we have for delegation as per the power of functionality. So after that, what we will do, we will round up this figure with zero decimal points. So now our loop should iterate for two times. Now let's create the loop. Before creating the loop, we will validate one thing. We'll go to the SharePoint list and we can see a name called Fuller in France. Let's see if we are able to find that because we already see a dedication warning in there. So I type Fuller. Here we have different fullers available, but we are not able to find the name fuller with respect to France in it. So obviously our 2500 records are not completely loaded. So let me go to the preview, go to the app property and in the on start property, let's start creating our loop. So I'll say for all. Now we need to create a sequence of numbers let's say starts from one and ends with the number of iteration it should go through. So to achieve this, we have a function called sequence. So we can leverage that. So let's say sequence. And now it should say how much records that it should iterate through. So this is the number of iteration what you have calculated. So let's come here, copy the value, go to the property and say the number of iterations there and comma and it is asking where it should start with so it should start with one and close the sequence bracket so now what does this give us it gives just one comma two so it start with one and it sets with two because two being the iterative field let's say if our iteration is 10 then we will have a sequence of numbers starting from one to ten separated by commas so We'll put a comma here and we have just gone to the next line and we will be just defining the start point and end point for our loop. So with we will define the parameters in here and with the certain parameters I need to collect data without delegation. This will be the name of my collection and I'll say filter my employee data where serial number is greater than or equal to start digit and serial number less than a digit. So let me close this bracket close the collect function, close the with function, close all function. Now it's time for us to define what is the start digit and end digit. So let me copy the start digit and I'll put it here. And I say start digit here should be this record dot value. What is this record dot value? Let's say for the first time if the loop is running, it starts with one. So start digit will be one. Similarly, let's put an end value. So it is end digit and this should be again this record dot value star 2000. Here we are using the star 2000. The reason being we know that power of has the capacity to go till 2000 and let's say if it is one, it will end with 2000. If it is second loop two, it goes to 4000. So we need to create a list of sequence where it starts with one ends with 2000. Again, it should start with 2000, end with 4000. So this loop we will be iterating again and again. If you note one thing here for the first time, it will be right. It says one, but let's say if it is second time, our intention is to start with 2000, but here this value will just starts with two. So we need to make sure that this again is a multiple of 2000. So what I will do, I'll open a bracket here. So I'll say minus one star 2000. So this record minus one star 2000, it's nothing but for the first item, one minus one is zero, star 2000 is zero. So it is zero to 2000. Again, 
if the second loop comes in it is 2 minus 1 is 1 1 star 2000 comma 2 star 2000 is 4000 so first loop is running with 0 comma 2000 and our second loop will run with 2000 comma 4000 so now our loop is completed let's say i would like to clear this collection before i start recording something i'll copy this i'll put it here i'll put a close bracket and end with a semicolon so now let's trigger the on start property of the app and let's copy this and paste it in our list view i will just replace this employee data with our data without delegation value now you can obviously see there is an id called fuller with france and you can see this 2500 entries are loaded now our gallery has all the 2500 list irrespective of this delegation limit of 2000 we prefer not to use this option for a very big larger list the reason being this will have a hit in the performance of the application you can obviously post your questions or clarifications in the comments field and we will get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching subscribe our channel hit the like button and press the bell icon for our new video alerts